Hi everyone, my name is Julia and I'm a product manager working on Azure API Center. Today we're going to talk about Azure API Center and how you can adopt to an API design first approach using Azure API Center, but also Azure API management. I'm very excited to show you the latest capabilities and in particular, I'm going to demonstrate our latest Azure API Center plugin. So as a developer, you want to generate an open API specification file. So we are going to do this using GitHub Copilot for Azure and in particular our API Center plugin to speed up this process and for you to be even more efficient. The really nice thing here is we are going to check on API design time governance while we are building out our web API to stay even more productive. Then right after we're going to deploy our API that we previously built to Azure API management and because our API admin has set up API linking functionality between my two services, Azure API Management and Azure API Center, we don't have to worry about anything being deployed to API Center as well or registered in API Center. So just because of that synchronization, we're going to see how my deployed API is going to show up in Azure API Management, but also in API Center. As you can see, I'm currently in VS Code building out my ASP.NET weather API. I implemented one controller to get my weather data. With our API Center VS Code extension, you can now leverage Copilot to help you auto-generate the API documentation with just one click. You can see that the auto-generated API specification is generated from my current file containing all of the necessary information. API Center is all about API design time governance. And as a developer, I want to start thinking about API governance as early on as possible. So let me show you how our API Center plugin for GitHub Copilot for Azure can help you not just only to generate an open API spec file for you, but also help you generate a compliant API spec. With our add Azure prompt, I will make sure that we are calling GitHub Copilot for Azure. It will automatically call our Azure API Center plugin, making sure that the API specification generated is already more compliant than our previous AI generated content. As you can see, this time, my open API spec already has more information included, making sure that it's already a little bit more compliant. Using Azure API Center, your organization can specify API governance rules and guidelines, unique for every organization out there. So as a next step, I'm going to demonstrate how my API specification can also align to these guidelines that we currently have in my API Center. So for that, I'm going to set my active API style guide, making sure that this input is being recognized while regenerating the API spec. Previously, I had four rules implemented around email information, description, and operation ID. I can now see that all of these rules were taken into consideration, seeing a summary of it at the bottom of my API spec. Now that I have a compliant API specification, I'm ready to deploy my API and register it in Azure API Center. There are a bunch of different ways how you can do this. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use our latest API management and API center linking functionality. So instead of having to register this API spec in API center, I can just deploy it to API management directly. I created an asset folder in my current project ready to deploy this to API management. After deploying this API using my open API spec to APIM, Let's confirm that I can find this API in API management first. I can see my API and my get operation, and my API admin can now apply API runtime policies on top of this API. Because we link this API management service to my API center, I don't have to do any further action because as soon as I switch over to API center and refresh the API blade, I'm now able to find my weather API also an API center as a linked asset. Last but not least, let's just confirm on my API governance. Because I made sure my developer is looking at API governance early on, 
I'm not surprised to find no error or warning messages here because my API is already compliant. 